Um, been away for a wee while, been away for a couple of weeks on holiday, but I'm just back and I'm back to a brand new version of XPro or Pro as it's now called. So we're going to upload that now and get it set up on the website. No direct change, we just have to do something slightly different. Um, hopefully we won't have any licensing issues, um, although I think it's worked pretty well on the other website that I've tried to do it on. So I'm on my main Fat Lad Food website for the recipes and stuff like that. So. What you need to do is go to your Xtheme users um, portal. Whenever you log in, you'll be prompted to download whatever it is that you've got a license for, essentially. So um, if, like me, you've only got Pro, it'll give you for um, Pro itself. I've downloaded that already, but you just literally click on this button. I'll go back into WordPress, and we're in Themes, so we'll go to Add New. And then from there, we're going to click on Upload Theme. And then I'm going to choose File. We're going to choose choose file and then we're going to go into your downloads, at least that's where I have um, saved it or it's come up for me. And I'm going to look for the pro zip and double click. You'll see it'll change the pro zip here. Click on install now. Okay, so now we've got uh, the theme installed. I'm going to activate it. Um, I'm going to do something bold here. I'm going to activate it on a live site. Do not do this if you're running live sites just to be on the safe side. But to be honest, this website doesn't get a massive amount of traffic. And if it goes down, I can fix it. So it's not really a big deal. But if you're building websites for people, do not do, do this on a staging server or something like that. I'm going to click on activate. And as you can see, it's come through. And Pro is now activated. It's brought us onto the X Pro overview and it's given me a full breakdown of everything that's currently available to me. And because I had my previous um, purchase key in here, it's automatically linked against that and is now looked upon as a Pro account. Now we just need to check the website and make sure that it's still running. And there we go, it's come up perfectly. Uh, no issues with anything that's going on there. We'll just double check a couple of the um, pages. Shop. Uh, actually, if you notice the speed, um, the actual speed of this is fantastic. I mean, it's the first time that I've actually used it, to be fair. Uh, let's take a look at it again. Look at that. I mean, that's fast, and I'm running on a Wi-Fi network at the top of the house, so um, I'm very, very pleased with that. It's fantastic. So yeah, so that's how you do it. So that's how we get um, X Pro updated to Pro. Um, don't worry, um, I'm going to be back again in the next week or so. I'm working on a massive uh, fooder tutorial series um, because let's be honest, um, in the website that we've already built uh, for JB Express, um, we did a full piece on this header uh, and this hero image is a part of the header. Now for the website I want to build a footer but I want to build a really superb footer. Um, so we'll show you that. Just to give you a quick update I've made some changes um, to this website. If you click in here I've now managed to add my logo which is centered. It took me a, a while to work that out so we'll do a video on how to do that. Simple bit of CSS. So it's now got an about us section. Um, and then of course the form that we put in before has now been cleaned up and is looking cool. That's everything from me, so thanks for tuning in. Have a good day, folks.